right, here we go. Try number two to see if it turns on. Hopefully this time we'll get it going. Right now, as you guys can see, it's very early in the morning. I just got off of work, so I'm tired. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing open. As you guys saw in the last video, obviously didn't start. I think our terminals or connection was bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap those out. Got some new ones right here. Boom. Some good old AutoZone parts, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace those bunk old ones with these new ones. Hopefully that gives us a better connection between the terminals and the battery. And I have the battery charging there, so we know that the battery's good, connection's good, terminals are good. That eliminates that, and then we'll move on to the next possible suspect, which might be the starter. But go, let's go ahead and install these, and then we'll, we'll go from there. terminals installed negative positive this one I had to cut a little shorter because you know obviously couldn't take it off couldn't take it off but hopefully it reaches onto the battery which I would see why not but it's good our battery it's been charging again all right and there we have our battery installed again new connection new terminals ready to go now we can't blame it on that let's go ahead and head back into the car cross our fingers Hopefully we get better results this time. Here we go. Key, the ignition again. Go ahead and turn it once. Turn it twice. All right. Uh, the top lights are on. Oh, I don't know what happened. But our key seems to be stuck again. And it's not doing anything. So, rip, ripperino. I don't know what's going on. So, oh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so what was going on is obviously this wasn't making that good of a contact with the terminal. Because obviously I cut this off, the other piece broke off. But. So you guys hear the inside, hopefully you guys can hear the inside, but you can hear the little chime. So, need to get this to make good connection. That should be definitely be making connection now. So we got that settled. Let's go back into the car once more. Here we go. Key in, like the fifth time already. And we got nothing. Battery can be drained already. Gosh, what is going on? And we have no battery again. So obviously this is a bunk battery. It says it's charging 12 volts, 5%. It had reached 100, but obviously I'm pretty sure the battery can't handle it. So no battery. I have to go get a new one. Kind of sucks, but need one anyways. Next clip you'll see brand new battery so see you guys then tomorrow and just like that we have a new battery so that takes care of that let's go again back inside for like the 20th time hopefully boom this time's a charm but before i start it i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some fogging oil just in case there's stuff that's well obviously there's probably stuff that's not lubricated 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 in there especially like the top of the cylinders top of the pistons I'll shoot some in the uh, in the intake down here. That way, get some in the trip skis. Hopefully, that's not seized. That would be bad. Hopefully, none of the pistons are seized. Um, and then just spray some all around. Hopefully, nothing's seized or stuck or rusted. So spray some of this in there, and then we'll start it. Shout out to uh, Chris Fix for the uh, for the little pro tip. And we are back inside. Obviously, our security light is flashing. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's find out. Key is in. Oh, all the lights are back on. Uh, ooh.
so we're still not getting any fuel in the front of the car so i'm gonna go go ahead and check the relay and that's gonna be located right here so we're gonna have to take off this trim piece and then this trim piece move the carpet a little bit over and then access that i removed this trim piece right here this right here this like foot guard thing and then you pull back the liner right here you take this one off it's held on by a couple of screws so you push this back and then there's two more back there that gives you well i mean by the fuse panel thing and i already checked all those and those are fine so we need to find the fuel pump relay and that's this right here so we're gonna go ahead and check and see if that if that works if not we gotta go back here change the fuel pump unfortunately but obviously we're gonna go by least expensive stuff to most expensive stuff and if you guys know that if you guys know about these z's the twin turbo fuel pumps are no joke i mean they they're rated for like 700 horsepower so there's that but on the other side they're like 300 bucks so trying to avoid that checking everything else so let's hope this works still seems to be working just fine so now we're gonna go ahead and check the most important not the most important what kind of the most important thing to check after and the most expensive unfortunately but we're gonna check to see if our problem is the fuel pump 